I want you to cast your minds back to the summer of 2018. I was still at uni, the weather was absolutely banging, and football was coming home. But more importantly for this video, the Theatre of Blood was released into the game, and with it came the opportunity to change the Iron Man meta forever. Herb lore is by far the most difficult skill on Iron Man. You need to get herbs from killing monsters, or if you're lucky enough you can grow them your own with your own seeds. And then you need to farm them, pick them, clean them, you get the picture. It's long, but a month after the Theatre of Blood was released, it became a lot easier. If you haven't figured out already, I'm not talking about solo mission in this video, I'm talking about my pure Iron Man, pure mission. And I'm going to try and exploit the Theatre of Blood to get these high level potions at 50 Sue Herb lore. And we're here, I feel so out of place, there's not many people running around with Inferno capes and max gear on and stuff. I say that as I right click a level 106 of course. Probably one of the lowest levels to ever sign up on the board in the Theatre of Blood. Wow. Right, let's do this. I'm going with solo mission. I'm going to try and duo most things. I'm going to come in and do some damage on the last form because you must have to do some damage in order to get some points to buy items out of the shop. I'm sure you can't just leech the entire raid. Well, there he goes. I'm playing on two accounts right now, but I'm recording pure mission screen. Hopefully this solo maiden goes well. Right, it's going all right so far. The damage hasn't cranked up too much, but we're ready for first crabs in a second i probably need to eat there's only two crabs come because there's only one of me in the room oh we're gonna miss this one aren't we right then it's pure missions time to shine it's 30 percent. the last crabs are dead the blood spawns are frozen in place so i'm just gonna come in clean a few of these bloods up at the back while i'm focusing on my main as well right i just need to not die it's gonna be really difficult when it shoots out the blood jets i'm worried yo look at him 48 combat doesn't give a single damn. Let's do this. We're doing pretty well at the moment. That blood is getting oh, close. Wow. I'm playing on two accounts at the same time, so it is pretty difficult. Come on. Finish the kill. There we go. Hey, you completed the maiden. How long did that take? Nine minutes 39. Pretty much a personal best there. Doing bloat solo is so much easier when you don't have your team weighing you down, getting your flies to every other kill. Pure mission is just going to chill outside for this one because I don't think I really need to do... What is going on here? Lag? Did you see that lag? What? It's a good job I didn't mess that up because only one brew and you can easily get one banged here. Oh, what am I doing? It turned. Come on. Right. What? I did not click there. There's no... No way. No way. It's 5%. I've got to step up. I've got to do it. Pure mission. It's your time to shine. 61 range. Hopefully it's going to hit. It's got pretty low defense, hasn't it? Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Oh, I hit already. It's going to be fine. What? I e I could have died. <laughs> they can hit over 50 or up to 50. And my HP is 48. So that could have been a lot of time for nothing. And I would have been so mad there. I've barely hit at all. I've hit like... I've been in here a long time running around being very careful. There we go. Oh, please Yes Finished it Wow 17 minute bloat kill. That's how bad of the SIBO is with some range on level 61 range or pure Iron Man 40 combatter But we've done it. Right, okay. This is the moment of truth. Do we get the points? Whoa, no, we got an onion. Are you joking me? An onion? Maybe this isn't possible then. I'm not sure. I, ugh. but I did both. I did damage on both bosses, so I really don't know what I should do. Of course, solo mission gets the 13 points. Going to be chomping on my bruise. But yeah, this is the shop that I want to buy stuff out of. Right. Well, I came in on both, but there's been a bit of a failure. I forgot my range on solo mission, so we're just gonna die. And 100k for the death. That is gonna be very expensive for me. So I scoured the lands and found a great Dutch PVMer of the name Noko, and he's helping me out in raids. I'm still playing both accounts, but I've got solo mission and pure mission both in here from the very start. So I've been playing on two. It's been pretty difficult, but Noko's been doing most of the tanking on the Maiden. But I've been sea bearing it the whole time, so hopefully I'm getting enough damage in here to actually be given a loot. Maybe I won't get 13 points, maybe not even over 8 or something. But we've got it completed. 6 minutes 46 was better than the 9 minutes <laughs> that I did on a solo. Come on, no final plank. He's sitting on some dangerously low HP here. Let's just finish it off. 
Munker, munker, indeed it's done. Oh, yes, we've got something in the chest because the vampires say they're impressed by my efforts. Let's have a look. Noki got 13. Yes, I got 11. Oh, that's amazing, man. That's so good. Shout out to my man, Noko. Best PBMer in Holland. Oh, I'm so happy. That's mad, though. I... I must be like one of the only Iron Men in the game which has stamina's without having 77 or 72 herbal or whatever you need. I'm literally like 50 herbal. <laughs> oh, this is dodgy. Right, so here I am standing outside the braid, flexing my 52 herbal right here. And the whole purpose of this, as you can see by the guide, is that stamina potions require level 77 herbal, which is very difficult to get on Iron Man. And I've just bypassed that entire process. Now I can make the revitalization pool at level 70 construction. Well, I'm going to boost that, of course. But that requires 70 stamina, And the ones after require prayer potions, super restores, and anti-venoms. And they're so much easier to get. You don't actually need the herb herbal level for those. Because you can get them from other sources. I completed the Eyes of Glufire quest a while ago to get the runecrafting XP. To try and get some total levels up to go and kill people in total level worlds. But now we're back, and I've got my singing seed, and we're going to make a crystal saw. Pretty cool animation, little cutscene going on. Someone's been doing the quest as well over here. But I've got the crystal saw. This is plus three for construction. It's like an invisible boost. I've been chopping oaks, and I've been crafting planks, and I've also been making larders one after another. So here we go. This should be level 63. I have calculated it right. I always get a bit worried in the last second. 63 construction, which means I need a plus 4 boost from a stew. Use the crystal saw, and then we can knock out the pool. There has been a slight issue, though. I'm pretty broke right now, and I need a 1,000 soul runes, which I need to buy from the magic guild, and that's over 300k cash. And along with training my construction, I don't have any GP. Well, would you look at that? We've got another bracelet of Ethereum, which is really nice, because it's a little backup in case we get PK'd. Oh, that is exactly what I need, a dragon plate legs on the account. Now, of course, we're one defense, so they're pretty useless to me. I need the money, though. This is a 162k alk, I believe, so that is very nice. I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer. Not ideal, is it? Five min TV'd, getting bolted in level 36 wilderness, and I don't have an, a way of teleporting until I get to level 20. Wait, I've got gap. This game is so broken, man. Gapped and logged out. Easy game. They really should add the logout timer from Dead Man Mode in the wilderness. Well, well, well. I have been incredibly lucky here today. I haven't been here for more than an hour. And I've got two dragon plate leg straps, which is alkables. That's all I can ask for as well. So yeah, I've just been rotating between the pyre fiends. The worlds keep getting cleared by PKs, which are high levels, which is great for me. Because it means I can get these all to myself. Soul runes bought. That's like 300k down the drain. I've boosted up to get into the magic guild. You can whizzy mind bomb and get in here real quick if you didn't realise already. God, this is going to be another dent to the cash stack as well, isn't it? Well, let's go. Let's make this garden. Where are you? Where are you? Superior garden level 65. I had to boost up for it. Let's try and make this first pool. Let's see what we need. Buckets of water. Right, I got my buckets, and this is the level 65 one, which is the special attack pool, which will be useful for when I'm PKing. Please, don't tick down the boost, the 67 upgrade real quick, let's go. Yes, the revitalization pool. I have broken the game to get this. I feel so great. 52 herbal with this in my house. Probably not that many Iron Men out there with this. I, I'm saying less than 10, Honest, honestly, like... That is insane. I didn't even think I'd be able to do it at this low stats. So I'm definitely like one of the lowest levels of this as well. That's mad. But that restores my run. And more importantly, it doesn't block me from the higher level pool. So I can get those without needing to get an astronomical herbal level. So there we go. The pool has been achieved in that house. Which is going to make things a lot easier. These are the stats. Going to be working on a few things in the next video. Some PVM and then probably some PKing real soon. So hope you guys are excited for that. I will see you in the next video.